guess what? We removed the old cadet. Welcome again to our journey. We are building our own home and during this time we need to do a lot of projects. One of them is to install our cadets for heating in the winter. Hey, this is a cadet. It's a wall heater. So, guess what? We removed the old cadets because they were really complicated to adjust to the temperature that we wanted. And we purchased the more up-to-date technology. And I installed already two of them. This is the third one. It's easy to install. Basically has the same boxes, metallic box. Only the inside is different. But not as much as everybody will think. So the difference is uh, this uh, digital uh, temperature setup and also the difference is you can set it up to zero and it's going to stop by itself, will not start again and it's nice because you set up to whatever temperature you want it, 72, 73, 80, whatever you want it and it's going to stay there all night. So those are those are uh, they adjust by themselves at the the voltage that you want it that you use it. At 240 will be 5400 BTU. At 120 that I uh, I use is gonna be only 3400. But it's enough for the room. We choose the cadet heaters for our second story bedrooms and the bathroom because we have seen them successfully use in our neighbor's home. So I installed this to protect the wire. That way it will not be cut by the sharp edge. Their ease of installation and the slick in wall design made them the perfect fit for our secondary way of heating the rooms. So I installed the box in the same spot, now I'm gonna pull the wire inside in the box. Unfortunately this is the second round of cadets that my husband is installing because the first round were analog and they are not precise. The ground and I'm gonna have to, to attach it to the box. Have a small green and you put it there and you will have to attach this one inside so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make coil yeah only one one time and a half that's enough That's mean you grounded. Yeah, well, that's from the power. I install it on a on uh, 20 amps circuit doesn't have anything else on the line only this the way that I did it I did a frame that uh, the height of this box metal box is 10 inches so I put the 10 inches and to make my life easier uh, I know that the uh, drywall will be 5 8 so I make a sign on the on the box where is the 5 8 and that way I don't have to remove again the box so I install it and then I'm gonna bring the, the drywall and everything will fit perfectly 
So this is very easy. You have two wires, two from the panel, from the breaker box. So black with black and white with white and black. And that's gonna be all. You just have to make this one smaller because it's way too big. The updated version of Cadet heaters are using 30% less energy than a regular wall heater. They are also having an auto-adjusting speed fan and a smart sensor that is auto-adjusting the voltage to match the 120, 208 or 240 volt power supply. So those are way too small. They have to be bigger than the other ones. So I'm gonna have to cut them, make them a little bit bigger. But it's difficult to do it. Because you can cut the wires. These are stranded wires. Which I don't like them. Now also take in consideration I'm not an electrician. I don't have all the tools that electricians they have, so I do with what I can and what I have. So you can see this wire is bigger and it's easier to actually, actually I can use the same, you can put them together. So you don't have to do this, but I'm doing it. So I'm gonna use the zip ties, the small ones, to keep the wires together and between this and here, that way it will not press, no, no uh, heat is gonna go to the wires. So you have two hooks and you're gonna hold the machine on the hooks till you actually is gonna you're gonna screw it together. Don't forget to remove the, the tags. Because this, this part up is going to get really hot. The fan will uh, suck the cold air and it's going to move it through here. And those, they will get extremely hot. 
very hard. So you want to remove everything that you have there. The right breaker was activated and now the cadet is on. So, uh, like I said last time, when you start it, the spec to smell a little bit weird because it's from factory and has some grease, some things that's gonna burn on the beginning. You have here, you set up whatever temperature you like and it's gonna stay that temperature non-stop. When you reach the temperature, it's going to stop it, and so on. Yeah, that's when you leave the room and it's whatever temperature it is there. This is when you want to close it, or fan only, but it's easier to close. The machine, the ventilator, the heater will not close right away, because if it's going to close right away, it's going to burn some plastic things inside, so it has to cool. For the moment, that's all I want to do. I want to let it run for a couple of minutes. It is crucial to let them run for a couple of minutes, supervised. So here you can give also the speed of the ventilator, the fan, how fast can go. And now I want the machine to work. It took me 10 minutes to install, but already I put the holes in it from last time. So maybe it's going to take you, I don't know, 20 minutes. I'm going to remove this, the, the lid, and I'm going to install the drywall and everything. And then I'm going to put it back how it's supposed to be. For the moment, I, I put it here because uh, I don't want to misplace the, the lid and then try to find it where it is. So uh, after I use both of them for a little bit, I can uh, tell you that this is the better option. It's way more expensive than the other ones, but uh, I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night because it's too cold or something. So those are better. Anyway, this is not the main thing that's going to hit the room. It's going to be the mini split and uh, also that's going to be a backup and in case that we have no power, no nothing, then we're going to use the wood stove to hit the house, so uh, that's the best thing that you can think of. We thank you for watching, and if you think that our video is helpful, please share and subscribe, because it's free, it's helping our channel, and it's more to come anyway.